Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today is another session on how to use ChatGPT to help us to clean data. And notably, this time is about how to make your data format consistent throughout your data set. So today's business scenario is actually something that I'm pretty sure every single HR is very familiar with. That is how to fix the date for the higher date or any date. So sometimes what happens is that we might have a data set downloaded from different systems, from different sources, and they come in different format. And date is where you are most likely to have inconsistent formatting, which will bring you so much trouble for your future analysis. Like for example, when you need to identify the eligibility for certain programs based on higher date, you have to convert everything into a clean date format before you do any kind of slice and dice. In this data set, I've highlighted some common inconsistent format I've seen in my past lives. For example, like um, this one is convert, it's a date, but it's in a tax format. It should be a date format, but then when I get the data, let's say it's a text format. So I have to convert it to a date format. And for this, for those two examples, um, it's also a text format, but then maybe because of the system that it was brought in, it has a single quote before the date, which makes it also as a tax, not a date. So the implication for that is, for example, I highlighted those uh, format on purpose so it's easier for you to see. Let's say I want to filter all the dates in 2020. You will see when I do that, I'm not able to get those highlighted rows because they are not in the format, in the correct format. For example, this is a 2021 date. When I try to filter 2021, like this I'm able to get, but once I convert it to tax, I will not be able to get this role. There's also some other kind of issue, like for example, it's, uh, it is it is in the date format, but it's just not presented in a consistent way that we want. This is actually an easier, form, easier thing to fix. I will show you later in our tutorial. Now let's bring our best friend ChatGPT and let's see what it can help us with. I'm pasting my request here. So create a web code that changed the format of column G in the sheet employee records to date format. Let's just put it as simple as that, see what comes. Okay, now the code is done. Copy code and uh, go back to developer tab, view code and paste our code. Let's check quickly. So we have the name of the worksheets and then it also identified the last row, which is fine. But just to note, in order for this line of code to work, you actually cannot have blank in this column. If you have blank, you have to fix that before you use this code and also set the data range to be G2 to G last row. That's fine. And then change the format of the range. That's what we want. And then we want to change it to this format. Okay. So first you can change to any format you want. Like let's say for example, this is the format that we want. Um, after we fix, you should see for example, this line and everyone else will actually be changed to this code. Okay. So the code looks fine. Let's save it and run it. See what comes up. Okay, so now it seems that this has been changed and also the previous one, the, the long one has also been changed to the kind of format that we want. And actually, let me just play around a little bit. Let's say I want it to be in a different format. I want it to be a month, date, year, and let me run it again. And then you can see my format just changed instantly. So that's great. However, as you will notice for those two, one with the single quote, unfortunately, it didn't change with our VBA code. So that's missed by VBA. So let's see how we can also change them together. So I'm coming back to chat GPT. I'm going to give a new instruction, which says that first, if you see a single quote, remove the single quote from the cell in column G and then change the format to the date format. So let's see if this chunk of code will help us for our purpose. Okay. Copy our code and come back to our VBA platform and then change it. So you can see here in this code, the one thing that we be a uh, chat GPT added is that for each cell, if you see a single quote and then you change it to nothing empty, and then you change the date format to whatever format you want. Okay. looks fine. Let's run it. 
Okay, so now you can see actually it's creating the right format for all the days that we want. And now let's say you want to filter for the days in 2020, you can now include those ones with inconsistent format before and you can use this set of clean data for your future analysis okay so that is everything i want to share today if you want to learn more about how to set up your vba in excel files or if you want to learn how to use ChatGPT to do further actions in excel i have playlists down below that you can check in the description down below thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video